Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Muhammad Taufan Jaulab and my beloved partner Yonanda Rafiuddin Yusron from Islamic Junior High School of Six Kediri. Standing in front of you, I would like to present about my project entitled Flavonoid Activity of Taro Leaf as a Bio and Sanitizer. Taro is super bank that is thought to have been planned long before the existence of rice, widely distributed in Asia, Africa, and Oceania. This plant tuber is a staple food ingredient in several regions in Indonesia. The taro plant is a white plant that grows a lot in humid area, for example on the banks of rivers like the one next to me. Most of parts of the taro plant have been benefited. People use taro plant as medicine and as a medicine alternative to wound medicine. The COVID-19 pandemic in Indonesia began in the rank of late February to early March 2020. The risk of the spread and transmission of COVID-19 still there. The health protocol in the new normal era according to the Ministry of Health and the Tax Force accelerate the handling of COVID-19 is washing hands with running water, using a hand sanitizer, maintaining a minimum distance of 1 meter, or social distancing, wearing masks, consuming nutritious food, getting a quad rest, and exercising diligently. non human regarding the occurrence of the first case of COVID-19, throughout Indonesia has triggered an action to buy masks and disinfectant fluids, resulting in scarcity in the market. Usually, the disinfectant liquid is replaced with several types of local plants and one of the plants that contain antibacterial is taro leaves. According to the antibacterial that contain in taro, there are flavonoids. Flavonoids are polyphenolic compounds that have antibacterial properties. Flavonoids function as antioxidants that inhibit toxin. Antibacterial or antivirus abilities obtained from taro leaves are expanded to be an eco friendly alternative to natural disinfectant. Referring to the explanations above, therefore, we intend to make a study entitled Flavonoid Activity of Taro Leaves as a Bio Hand Sanitizer. The formulation of the problem of this study is how the activity of taro leaves it as a bio hand sanitizer. The purpose of research is to determine the flavonoid activity of taro leaves as a bio hand sanitizer. Research steps: the first, making taro leaf extract or extraction, and dry by oven at a temperature of 60 till 70 degrees Celsius, or can be done by irritating. After drying, weigh the amount of 100 grams or 200 grams or 300 grams needed, then put it in a stainless container that already contains water or distilled water, then steam it for then 10 till 15 minutes and filter it. Extraction in carried out simply so that it is easy for the com community. To do. The second, the content of phenolic and flavonoid compounds, a phenol test. Testing phenol is carried out with 1% FTCL solution region. Take 1 ml of taro leaf extract, then put it in a test tube, and 1 till 2 drops of 1% FTCL solution to the test tube containing taro leaf extract then homogenize it by shaking. Extract samples that are positive for phenol will be yellow, green, or black. The darker the result, the higher the phenol content. Flavonoid test. Put 4 ml of taro leaf extract into the test tube. Add an amount of 0.1 gram magnesium reborn into the test tube and add 4 ml of concentrate 
chloridic acid dan homogenis a positive sample contains flavonoid the final result of the extract solution is yellow orange or pink the more orange or pink the higher the flavonoid content hand sanitizer inoculating e coli bacterial isolates or coolers media by means of the stick method or zigzag spread using a loop needle then take for thick steps filter paper each filter paper is treated as follows filter paper to treat given a sterile equilibrium control solution the six test the feasibility of the hand sanitizer on 60 respondents or 30 categories of adolescents and 30 categories of adults and ask for their comments regarding aroma, detection, and stickiness level. The conclusion of the research is the flavonoid activity of taro leaves as a bio hand sanitizer gives positive results because taro leaves extract can inhibit the growth of E. coli bacteria and flavonoids compound in taro leaves stem deolins has potential activity as an antiseptic, antioxidant, and can inhibit cell membranes permeability bacteria. And taro leaves and sanitizer was also received by the community with good and excellent response. Thank you for your attention. The last I say. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.